The murder of George Floyd transformed a community. Today, the intersection of 38th and Chicago is also known as George Floyd Square. It's been a place of peace and violence. Now, more than two and a half years after Floyd's death, the city of Minneapolis looks to the future. A lot of still un incomplete, uh, unhealed traumas, you know, I, I feel in this area still. More than two years after the death of George Floyd in this South Minneapolis neighborhood remains a community in recovery. We all been wanting to change. Tommy McBrayer grew up here. This is, was literally a black Wall Street. Everything around here was black. Today, the intersection of 38th Street and Chicago Avenue is known as George Perry Floyd Square, a site of protest, peace, and violence. The murder of George Floyd changed the world, uh, but nowhere have those impacts been more apparent than at the intersection of 38th and Chicago. Alexander Cato. This is a, a redesign and a reconstruction. Is leading the city's 38th and Chicago re-envisioned project. The city is imploring residents to weigh in. It's an opportunity um, for all of us to, to redefine what that space should be. Uh, how do we want pedestrians to be in that space? Uh, do we want vehicles back in that space? Do we want transit back in that space? Uh, do we want bikes back in that space? How do all of these modes really operate in, in a way that's functional uh, for the future? Cato says so far, concepts include a memorial space, pedestrian mall, and returning the intersection to the way it was before. We've really hit on four themes, infrastructure, um, social justice, uh, economic vitality, and public safety. Right now, concrete barriers shield a large memorial. Only one lane of traffic is open in each direction. There's a makeshift roundabout and no access to Metro Transit. Larry Craig has lived in the community for more than 30 years. Hell, chaos, um, uh, what is another word? War, it's been war in this neighborhood since I've been here. He's critical of the city's approach. Imagine, why would you wanna imagine stuff when you can get stuff done? I know there's a lot of mistrust in government, and I also know that this project is not going to restore all of that trust, but I'm hopeful that it can start to turn that tide and rebuild trust in the communities. Creating a roadmap for the future, McBrayer believes, starts right here. I think it's definitely needed. You know, I think it's definitely needed, and I think the community needs to be there, not the one that's not from the community having to say so what's going on in the community. The city of Minneapolis will hold an open house for the 38th in Chicago re project tomorrow from noon until 2. It will take place at the indoor gym at Phelps Recreation Center. Those in the community are encouraged to attend.